we are leaving this Kwangdong area right now. Uh, the tide is still low. You can see the water slowly coming out. We're gonna go to James Pike and we will be staying there for maybe at least two nights because that's where I really want us to stay. It's so windy right now. Like the whole morning has been really windy. It's blow. Um, it's it's so strong that it's blow off our um, washing uh, line. Lucky Justin, uh, one of the feet just got blow, uh, fall down. Anyway, um, yeah, last night the wave was really strong that we keep hearing um, it. But even though it's, it's it's not close to our car van, but yeah, we can still hear it. It's quite strong, and we are going. James Pie Point area trying to find our camping spot and then we got bog because the sand here is it's thick and it's soft we also trying to um, check a UE at this uh, white spike here because there's no way to turn around if we keep heading on um yeah it's quite difficult here the road is so narrow and there's not much space for a car van uh to to turn around yep slowly slowly uh we seriously got stuck the big time this time what have we got ourselves into really it's just so hard to get out of this spot and nobody here is to help us and we're really clueless of what to do yeah back to the left yep that's good that's good Yep, keep going. Yep. Keep going. Today is supposed to be a re relaxing day. How I imagine is um, we get to James Price Point, find our park camping spot, and then park there, then take the awning out, and then just relax and chill out, uh, facing the ocean, and then and then we got bog. Um, we we got stuck there like over an hour trying to dig our way out um, find any possible um, way to uh, get out and it was so hot and lucky that we have a lot of water 
uh, we were like so dehydrated we drink so much water because it was so hot and then yeah eventually we got our car and car van out of the place and um, without anybody help um, and then we we went um, to James Price Point um, we unhitched our car van went to scout around and then Justin found this spot because why it's private like nobody here but then this um, spot is so hard for a car van to to stay facing the um, the um, the water because it's slop and we don't have the right equipment or stuff to make the car van level so we have a bit of argument this argument I mean this agreement pretty much a very stressful and we finally got reversed the car van into this spot however we're not facing the ocean we're just facing the grass and the cliff instead not a very good view not how I imagine James Pie point to be like um, this is really one of my favorite spot on the list and I really want to to come here at a beautiful location uh, we found that location is really nice. It's just that it's um, some of the um, spot that are facing the water got taken But it's a lot easier to get in and get out and it's spacious um, We might not um, Able to camp facing the water, but at least it's not as stressful as this spot and I just finished um, Keep myself a rinse to cool down um, Drink a lot more water and now I'm just um, cooking the pasta uh, Justin took the girl to the beach um, so that they can have a play and then to cool himself down in the water and while I'm cleaning the car van again oh my god so sandy I don't know if I ever going to get used to life um, <laughs> sandy life it's just so hard like I hate sand I mean I don't like walking on uh, having a car van full of sand and we seem to get a lot uh, more as we're moving further down south but I don't know uh, so seriously fly uh, when you living on the road every day pass like a blink of an eye um, sadly we only have like maybe about less than three months left on the road and then we have to go home and then starting over again uh, not sure what to what is the future going to hold for us but for the meantime, we're just gonna go in to enjoy WA to the max, see as much place uh, in WA as we can, and then yeah, just going from there. Only our car van can face the the ocean right now. That would be so beautiful. Look at the sunset. Oh my God, it's just so amazing, and it's actually lighting up the beautiful color of this red cliff. This place is just so amazing.
So we decided to move to this spot here. Um, yesterday we couldn't get this spot because somebody already parked here but uh, they left so it's gonna be home for us today or and maybe tomorrow as well. Um, this is actually um, next to the ocean and it's actually next to the cliff as well so I think it's a very good location. Um, but yeah, there's no internet reception here. And we're just gonna chill lag for the next couple days. There's so much cloud in the sky, so I think today uh, it's going to be uh, the sunset is going going to be dramatic. It's like about 4:30 now, so maybe another hour until the sun go down. Hopefully, we will see something dramatic today um, at our new camping spot. We did spot whale, but it's so far away. We did send Johnny out, but unfortunately, we couldn't capture it at all. Um, it's just so hard um, to capture anything um, in an open sea uh, it's just so bright the light and everything it's just so hard to find where they are but yeah we, we did so and, and uh, as we driving here I also saw something as well and then it disappeared so I believe it's a whale it's not a rock and yeah now we're just sitting here relax and let the girl play a bit of sand um, I think this beach is a very long one. Um, it's, we can just keep going on and on until like, I think there, or maybe can even go further, but yeah. yeah. I can see it on my camera now. I can see it. Yum, 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 yum. Yep, oh, okay, let's send it on it. Just now we saw something black. Uh, over the horizon we thought it was a whale so we sent Johnny out we indeed found it <laughs> however it turned out to be a black rock it's like it's really far away and then there's rock out there wow amazing anyway no no whale today for us
like Ulu. Thank you.